You are listening to CKUW 95.9 FM, and this is People of Interest, your favorite Tuesday morning show. Here with me today is Joanne Robertson, an emerging filmmaker and also an actress who's going to talk about her recent win at the Gimli Film Festival. How are you, Joanne? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, too. So you have just recently won the 2020 Gimli Film Festival Emerging Filmmaker Pitch. What was your immediate reaction when you heard about this spectacular news? Um, I honestly, I'm still in disbelief. It's like the, it's been the biggest thing. I couldn't believe that that was happening. Everybody that did the pitch competition was so talented that like really I was just really happy to have made it in that room, much less win. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of disbelief still. Mm-hmm. So tell us about your short film, A Knack, and why do you feel so passionate about this story? Sure. Uh, well, it's it's really personal. It's deeply personal. It's autobiographical in nature as well. Um, it's about a an Asian woman in her 30s trying to navigate through this difficult relationship she has with her mother. And the entire film is about this choice. Um, Does she continue what is culturally expected of her and pursue this unhealthy relationship? Or does she choose a different avenue that means giving up her family but being mentally healthy? Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. And also the whole aspect of culture is really present in your film. So um, through your story, you were able to share more of your Asian background. Why do you believe it is important to share about the Asian culture with audiences that are unfamiliar with it yeah i mean that's the thing audiences are unfamiliar with the asian culture where a very secretive um a very secretive culture uh we don't really like to discuss things that could be perceived in a negative light with outsiders um especially mental health so i think it's really important to just sort of break the lid on this issue finally get that stigma um take away the stigma and speak about these mental health, cultural, intergenerational trauma, traumatic issues, um, so that people that are struggling know that they aren't alone, this isn't an isolated event, and that there are resources and supports. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, throughout the GFF Prize, you have also been granted the chance to receive mentorship from industry industry professionals from the National Screen Institute. Um, What do you hope to learn from these professionals in order to produce your film? Uh, So my my mentor is Elise Sweehorn. She's with um, the National Institute of, National Film Institute, National Screen Institute, wow. And um, (laughs) she's a wonderful, very experienced director. Um, And what I would love to learn is just how she approaches projects um, and learn more about the professionality on a film set. I know that, I mean, I've done films, I'm very familiar with the atmosphere, but just learning from different directors is just, it's always mind-blowing. You always learn something because everybody is different. They bring something new to every set. So I would just love to be able to to take a back seat and watch some people before I, before I attempt this again on my own. Mm-hmm. And like you said, you have been an actress, like both on stage and on screen, so you know how this whole production process is like. So how was the shift for you from being on camera to now being off camera? And if you would have asked me a year ago, I would have said that I wouldn't have been back like behind the camera at all. It's so it's so hard. The work is is ridiculous. Um, and I'm, like as an actor, I get I get all of the pretty like glamorous parts you get to see me on screen or on stage but it's really the people that are backstage behind the camera that do all of the heavy grunting and it it was sort of an organic change someone gave me a chance to direct a film and I I accepted and now I'm just in love with being able to dictate what is on screen being able to tell the story that I want to tell rather than telling somebody else's story so it's it's different for sure unexpected but really welcome Mm mm-hmm And lastly, I wanted to know, what are your future goals within the film industry? I would love to keep directing and writing. Um, I'm a big advocate for exploring human resiliency and mental health issues, um, especially when it comes uh, with some culture as well. So I would love to be able to explore more of Asian culture on screen um, and then tell, tell people's stories. 
whose voices deserve to be heard. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Joanne, for talking to us. It was really great to know more about you, about your work, and I'm very excited to see your film next year in the festival. Thanks. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me.